What are the differences between simple diffusion, facilitated diffusion, and active transport? I'm Mr. W, a retired AP biology teacher with years of experience teaching this material. If you hang on till the end, I'll show you some important tricks that'll really help you on tests like the AP bio exam. Two of these transport mechanisms have diffusion in their name. What's diffusion? It's the random movement of molecules from where they're more concentrated to where they're less concentrated. A good way to visualize diffusion is to imagine that substances are diffusing down a concentration gradient. You don't need to add any energy, it's just based on the random movement of these molecules. If a membrane is permeable to a substance, which means that the substance can diffuse through it, then that substance will move through the membrane from where it's more concentrated to where it's less concentrated. In most living things, the main structural component of a cell membrane is a phospholipid bilayer. The phospholipid bilayer allows small, nonpolar substances like oxygen and carbon dioxide to diffuse right through it. And because of the principle, that like dissolves like, nonpolar substances like fats and steroid hormones can also diffuse right through the phospholipid bilayer portion of the membrane. That's what simple diffusion is. It's diffusion right through the phospholipid bilayer. Why is it simple diffusion? Because unlike facilitated diffusion, which requires a membrane protein channel, no protein is needed. Things simply diffuse through the bilayer. And because it's diffusion, it doesn't require any energy expenditure on the part of the cell. Now let's turn to facilitated diffusion. This is when there's a concentration gradient, but for a substance that's polar or ionic. Because like dissolves like, polar and ionic substances can't diffuse through the phospholipid bilayer. They need help. That help comes in the form of a protein channel that lets these substances diffuse through. And that's what facilitated diffusion is. It's the diffusion of a polar or ionic substance across the membrane through a protein channel. It's diffusion, so it doesn't require any energy expenditure on the part of the cell. Here are some ways that you can use language and word roots to remember this. If you speak Spanish, you know that facile means easy. In French, Facile means easy. The word facilitate in English means to make something easier. Right now, I'm trying to facilitate your learning about facilitated diffusion. And here's an analogy. Facilitated diffusion is like coasting across a bridge on a bike. The stream, the river, that's a barrier. Well, in order to get across, you need a channel. That's the bridge. But if you're coasting, then there's no extra energy that's being required, certainly not on the part of the stream or the bridge. Your kinetic energy just lets you coast across the bridge. We're about two thirds through. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. Also, please like this video and subscribe. In addition to this channel, I've created two other things to help you learn. The first is my website, learn-biology.com. I've also created an app for learning biology called Biomania. To learn more, follow the links below. We've learned about simple diffusion and facilitated diffusion. Now our last topic, active transport. Let's start with an analogy. If I was a tiny particle or a molecule, and this building was a cell, then me taking the elevator would be like active transport. There's a transport mechanism, the elevator, and the building is using its energy to transport me from one floor to another. Where's that energy from? It's from the conversion of ATP to ADP and phosphate. That's the energy source for most energy requiring processes within cells. Another way to describe active transport is to say that it's moving things up a concentration gradient. Again, this requires energy. It's against the flow of diffusion. So every biology student faces an enemy. It's called biology confusion. And biology confusion can really mess with you when you're trying to distinguish between active transport and facilitated diffusion, because superficially they look similar. They both involve a protein that's embedded in the membrane. Here's how you tell the difference. In facilitated diffusion, 
Note that the molecules are always moving down a concentration gradient. So the arrow is going to show more on one side and then they're moving to where there's less on the other side. In active transport, it's the opposite. They're moving from less concentrated to more concentrated. But more importantly, on active transport, you're always going to see some energy input to that protein channel and that's usually ATP that's getting converted to ADP. Look for that and you'll know the difference. A great move now would be for you to learn about the structure of the cell membrane, which you can do at this video. One, two, three. We're about to do a review, cost me two thirds through. But for you two tasks to do, like my video, subscribe to my channel too. Don't go away, great things await you.